There's a lot of activity on a piece of property off of Yukon's Route 66. Not only is it home to several new developments, it's also home to one of the last prairie dog colonies in the metro. News 9's Deanne Stein has more on their fate if and when developers break ground. The property is advertised as retail space for lease, but the only ground being broken here right now is by a bunch of prairie dogs. They are a delight. I mean, they're wildlife. Lenora Kirkland knows a lot about these black-tailed prairie dogs. They have a strict diet of vegetables and, you know, insects and so forth. That's because she's worked at the Dollar General store in Yukon for years, right next door to their colony. We have a lot of locals that come in and they park and they come and, you know, take pictures with them and their kids and even the people off the turnpike. It, this is one of their main points and stops in Yukon because they hear so much about our prairie dogs. But a sign of the times shows their future is unclear as they stand on prime land for real estate development. They were here first. Kurt Kuklinski with the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife says the department holds jurisdiction jurisdiction over the prairie dogs. Over the last several decades, this population has stayed pretty stable. If developers were to move forward, he says they must get a 90-day permit to remove or control the prairie dogs. That hasn't happened yet, but his suggestion is to always relocate them. If we find good um, pre-existing colonies, places where prairie dogs have been in the past, those translocation efforts are usually successful. These animals will quickly adapt to a new home um, where there's already existing burrows where prairie dogs have lived before. That's usually a pretty high rate of success for translocation. A safe but disappointing alternative for the many people in Yukon who want to save the prairie dogs. And I'd really hate to see them go. Now I left a message for the company advertising this property for lease to find out if there's a plan in place for the prairie dogs, but haven't heard back. In Yukon, Deanne Stein, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.